Hey everyone, Dennis here from Ploy.io. In this video, I will be showing you how easy it is to install the Ploycore web hosting panel. In this example, I have installed three servers to demonstrate. One where the panel will be installed and two web ser servers for the customer's websites. Let's start by installing the panel. I have a domain called examplehosting.com, which would be the normal landing page for our company and a panel Examplehosting.com. Now, if you have bought the Ploycoy web hosting panel, you will be invited to the GitHub rep uh, repository uh, from PloyDeploy, uh, and that way you will be able to install it on your domain, whichever you like. There we go. Install compose dependencies, install. And while it's doing this, we can actually start by uh, setting up the database and other stuff we need to make this panel work. Uh, so let's start by creating a panel database. I will just use test as password. This is not recommended. All right, we have a database. Now let's head over to the documentation installation we can see we need to clone it it's already doing that on the panel.examplehosting.com compose install it's also doing that and then we need to run the core install command besides that we need uh, additional credentials the ploy core api key and a ploy api key and we can create a ploy api key by going to your profile api keys create token and name it in this case, I will call it ploy core panel. I will save it to my URL here. There we go. Well, let's see how far it is. It's still installing. Let's see if this works. Yes, this is all right. So this would be normally our uh, landing page, for example, if you want to host it on the same server, that's up to you, basically. Uh, all right, there we go. Now it's installed. Now you can see it's already suggesting some nice and handy commands for us to add to our deploy script. Let me do those. There we go. Uh, let's set up the database. Uh, let me see. Database panel. Username is panel. Password is test. Let's also change this to production. Put off the debug mode. And. Um, save this file there we go so if i were to visit this uh, website now you would see a installation incomplete view which is correct because we have not run the installation yet we can do so by uh, going into our server ssh blood ip address cd into the correct directory and run the php artisan core install command there we go now trying to run the database migrations which we want to there we go now it's asking for the ploy api token that's the long token you have generated yourself i do that here and now it's asking for the ploy core key which is the key needed to authenticate with the core api uh, you receive this key when you bought the license and you can also reveal the token again from the subscription page if you lost it there we go. It will automatically grab the credentials from the uh, Ploycore API. And it's um, it seems it, in this case, my company is called Example Hosting. So I will just keep it like it is. Now we're going to start with a administration account, which is fine for me. In this case, I will just use test. Yes, I would like to have some basic packages, panel URL, and that's it. Now it should be done. So if I were to refresh again, it's fine now. So let's log in test all right there we go ploycore is now finally installed so additional stuff you have to do to make it work properly is uh, setting up a queue worker which is uh, required and in this case uh, we recommend to use uh, the redis connection together with laravel horizon which is included automatically so if you head over to your site and edit the environment file you can 
change the queue connection to Redis, which I think is default in this case. And also good to set up is mailing. In this case, I will just put it to log, so it would be outputted to the logs. Um, then save this file. And then we head back over to the server view, daemons. And we're gonna start a process to run Laravel Horizon. PHP home ploy panel.example hosting.com artisan horizon and start this. All right, it is running now, that's fine. Uh, we can verify by going to Horizon. That it's active, it has two queues and default and emails, seems all good. So next I'm going to show you a quick example on how to add sites and manage servers. So in this case, if I were to create a site, it would fail because there's no server synced to the system yet. So to solve this, I am uh, registered as an administrator. So I have access to the administration area. And if I were to go over to services, you can see there are no servers yet in our system and no sites in our system. So we're going to synchronize the servers at present in my ploy account to this system. So we're going to head out over to synchronize and you will see all the servers listed from the ploy panel inside here. So these two web, these three servers are now listed here. So if I were to synchronize these two servers, you can see that the servers are now present in our system. I can also quickly view them by pressing view employ to manage them myself easily. Uh, and if I were to create a site now, example.com, it would automatically select a server to create the site on. It's blinking because it's creating the site and it's now active. And if I were to check the service, it has chosen web server two to generate the site on in this case. So if I would visit this, it would start with 108. Yes, 108, 108. So if I were to create another site and wait a bit. All right, so now it's installed again. Let's refresh this and you can see it has chosen web server one over two. It does this in a random order. All right, so now that the basics have been set up, well, there's one last thing we need to do and that's set up the cron job. Um, if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see uh, Ploycore comes with a automatic rotation to keep your database clean from any old entries and logs. And besides that, it also does some additional uh, uh, pings to the core API to keep your system up to date. So I would have to create the cron job in the panel. Go to cron jobs, copy paste this and change this to panel.examplehosting.com. Then we can edit. All right, so now that's running, it will uh, keep our panel up to date and notify us whenever it's needed. Also be sure to check out the documentation. We have written out everything you need to uh, get you started on the installation page. And that's it for the installation. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.